deviation. If you have a small standard deviation, that means you don't deviate from your center very much. Is that right? You're more consistent. So the more consistent data set is one that has the smaller standard deviation. A larger standard deviation means you're, you know, you're pretty much far off consistently from your data, that larger value. But the smaller standard deviation, the better, the more consistent the, uh, the scores are or the data. OK, you guys OK with that? That's an important concept. That's a big deal. The smaller the standard deviation, the more consistent the data set. OK, you guys OK with that? Now, let's see. I'm going to give you a shortcut formula. You guys want the shortcut formula? All right, here we go. Variance is n times sum x squared minus sum x in parentheses squared. Everything over n times n minus 1. And once again, in fact, the standard deviation, again, is a square root of the variance. And you guys will look at this, and you're going to say, my god, that's not a shortcut. That looks longer. Well, no, it isn't. There's some benefit to this. Do you guys know what the benefit is? You want to see the benefit? <coughs> look at this formula. Do you see the mean anywhere? Do you see that x bar anywhere in this formula? Do you? You don't. Do you guys know what that means, sum of what? x squared. You know what this means? Sum of x. You guys know that? So if you have, for example, x, what does x represent again? What is x? x is your data values. Is that right? Let's look at fashion at scores. Let's verify the shortcut. What's fashion at scores? You guys tell me what they are? 185. What else? 150. 220. 185. 135. 235. These are the scores. You guys OK? So if I add these values, can you tell me what am I obtaining symbolically. What is this? What is this? This is the sum of what? Of the x values. Is that true? That value goes up here. You guys see what I'm saying? How do I get this information, sum x squared? This is all I do. Take the x value and what? Square it. So what is 185 squared? I know it's a big number, but that's OK. What is that? Say it again. 225. OK, 34,225. Why am I squaring all those values? Because eventually, I'm going to do what with them? I'm going to add them, and I'm going to get now the sum of the x squared values. That's going to go here. OK? So let's score the other values. What's 150 squared? What is it? 22,000 what? 500. What's 220 squared? 48,400. 185 squared, I'll tell you, we already have that 34,225. 135 squared, what's that? 18,225. Okay, what's 235 squared? Okay, again. To use this formula, do you guys know what n is? 6. This is 6. This is 6. This is 6. You with me on that? You need to also tell me then, what in the world is that? What's that? Sum of the x squared values. 
That is over here. If I sum these x squared values. What is this raised to the second power? Well, I'll put, I'll put a rectangle here. That is whatever we get over here when I add my x values. Don't forget, after you add the x values, to so do what? Square them. So tell me, what is, what is the sum of both of these here when you add this? What's the sum of the x values? What do you get? <coughs> what do you get? 1,110? One thousand one hundred and ten. What do you get when you add these values? Two hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred. Okay, you guys with me on that? It's important for you to know this notation. Sum the x squared values. These are the x squared values. Sum them, add them. Sum the x values. That's your data value. Sum them, add them. What's left for you to do now is to use the formula. We know those values, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> 1,110 goes here. I'm going to square it. 212,800 is in my triangle. So the variance formula, the shortcut, is 6 times 212,800 minus 1,110, don't forget to do what? Square it, raise it to the second power. Divided by 6 times, who can tell me? What's 6 minus 1? 5. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a shortcut formula. If you know order of operation, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, you're going to be able to compute the variance by the shortcut. Okay, the shortcut's important. You want to do it. Now, some of you guys, remember we talked about buying that calculator, right? Anybody take my advice? Nobody took my advice? Sounds, it's a story of my life. That's okay. It's all right. If you took my advice and got that calculator, you can enter this. Your calculator knows order of operation. That calculator does. See what I mean? I'm not going to lead you wrong. You guys have to believe in me. Now, some of you guys have calculators that work backwards, which means you're going to have to find, you know, you'll square it, note the value, multiply this, note the value, subtract it. Doing all that noting and writing down, you can make a, you can make a mistake. So again, if you've got that calculator, or if you have the, the one that, the TI that knows uh, order of operation, what do you guys get as a numerator? Because I'll tell you the denominator, it's 30. What is it? 44,700. Anybody second that answer? OK. What happens when you divide those two numbers? What do you guys get? I'm willing to bet you get 1,490. Is that true? Oh, does that look familiar? Have you guys seen that before? Where have you seen it? Using what we call the definition of variance.